Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to really go and analyze this Windsor and Newton Professional Acrylic Set. This set is now in my possession since probably three, four months, and I had the time to play with it a little bit so that I can come back here to you and I'll really tell you if it's worth your money, the pigment information, how it performs, everything. To analyze uh, as much as possible uh, this, this set, what I did was to create this large painting. I don't really film a large painting because it takes too, uh, too much out of me, but uh, I think the best way to really get to know an acrylic paint is to work on a large scale and this is what I created. But not only, we are going to use my new uh, canvas paper from Jackson that I recently purchased to create an artwork together and to see like in real life how this paint perform. And I also create another artwork here in uh, these scroller blocks, acrylic paper. I also use this paint on three different surfaces. Let's start with the video. I'll tell you everything I found out, everything I know and everything I think. I went to Windsor & Newton website because I wanted to double check if the information they provide about this paint correspond with what I own and what I experience. So first I want to read to you what they claim about this paint. For according to Winsor & Newton website, this is the brightest range of acrylic viscosity and opacity is tested to ensure outstanding texture and consistency. On their website, there are 80 colors available, but the set that I own is 12 colors only of 20 milliliter tube and the price for this set is £50.95 on their website. I purchased it in Amazon and still at today is priced £35.51. So quite a good deal in Amazon. And that is linked in the description if you are interested in this set. If you look for professional uh, acrylic set that it doesn't cause the hurt. Now the colors that you find in this set are titanium white titanium white pigment is a pw6 its light fastness is excellent it is opaque with a double a permanence that i check what it means and it means that it is extremely permanent and is a serious one now, titanium white, I want to tell you a little bit about it because it is simply the best white ever experience. I want to say that again, it is the best white you will ever find on the market. If you're looking for an opaque, creamy, intense, white that at the first layer it will already give you that matte cover and you don't need to just layer again and again and again one layer will really give you the result that you want it is the best white acrylic white i ever experience so even if you decide not to buy this set but you're like looking for the best acrylic white color this is a titanium white go on their website or in amazon they also have available a single white i think and yeah bye definitely once i finish all my white i will only purchase this Windsor & newton because it's like a super dense whipped cream 
that's what it remind me as soon as you open uh, the, you will feel it is just like as you squeeze it out it is different from any other white out there is the best and uh, i think that only the white makes this set worth now the second color in this set is a lemon yellow pigment py3 is a very good light fastness semi-transparent permanence a and only a means still is permanent and is a series too so some color are excellent in light fastness some color are very good the majority of this color are a single pigment which is really good then the third color in this set is azo yellow medium PY74, excellent light fastness. It is a semi opaque permanence A series 2. All of this information are also written on the tube, but I did compare all of them with the website because I wanted to see if there were some discrepancy. So far, all good, but there is going to be one later on. The set contains also yellow ochre, PY43 excellent light fastnet in this semi-transparent natural red light is pr112 it is very good it is semi-transparent as well um, there is also a permanent alizarin crimson this has two pigment inside pr177 and pv23 it is transparent there are no light fast information on the website so i do believe that this alizarin crimson it is not light fast so this is to keep in mind if you try to do a professional paint that you want to sell um also on their website they give a little bit of description and about this alizarin a lizard in crimson say that he has a blue undertone with a vivid red color and it was firstly introduced in 1994 so i find it that really sweet i also have a ptalo green blue shade that was firstly introduced in 1930s oh my god now on my um, paint is say that the pigment is pb15 but on the website it said it is pg7 so this i don't know there is a discrepancy so i don't know if they change with a new set or if the one that you buy loose is going to be different the one in the set i don't know but as um, excellent light fast and is transparent olive green is described as a soft brownish green color named after the soft tone of a natural green olive it has three pigments pbk9 py129 and py139 and also here there is no light fastness information and it is a transparent color we have a ptalo blue which is a red shade and is also pb15 excellent light fastness and is transparent i have also a ultramarine blue in this set uh, with the pigment pb29 excellent light fastness is transparent and the website did say that ultramarine blue is a rich transparent blue created by French chemist Guimet in 1828 as a synthetic but chemically identical alternative to the expensive pigment derived from lapis lazuli. The last uh, in this set, last color is Mars Black. It's a dense black color with a brown undertone, PBK11, excellent light fastness, opaque, and this and the color selection that i own so as i start my big painting i immediately notice that i was missing something 
I was missing a burn sienna. Now, if you do any sort of uh, canvas painting, majority of artists like to uh, use burn sienna as an underpainting. Uh, it's uh, a quite of a neutral color and it works well to then layer other color on top and uh, as the paint paint dry out and uh, sometimes it shrinks a little bit uh, it won't reveal the white of the paper but it will reveal the undertone that usually is a burn sienna i didn't have that in the set and as you can see i went ahead and i bought it i loved using this paint and as for today this Winsor & Newton set is my favorite. I will definitely in the future keep buying the other color and add it to my collection so I can experience all of the range that they have to offer. And maybe I will focus more on the paint. They have a very good to excellent light fastness because when i do large painting i definitely focus on also selling those painting so i uh, try to avoid where is not light fastness information available but even with that i found using this paint the most rewarding experience ever I also want to mention that I really wish that they offered the white in this set on a bigger scale because it's exactly 20 milliliter like the other one. But as you can see, I almost ran out of white because of course we use so much white when we paint in acrylic. So I do wish for having a bigger set of this. But let me show you what I created. And honestly, it's up to you to decide if you want to invest in this set or not. My experience has been really, really good. I think they offer a lot of knowledge also on their website. And uh, yeah, I think it's a trusty brand. And I also have watercolor from them and I enjoy using their product. I created this little set today is a little flower um, botanical set I think it's super super cute and uh, I will make a video where I'll tell you more about this exact paper but let's focus on the paint itself and I think it's super pretty and very vibrant I love this color I also create on this scroller box acrylic paint I really don't like this paint. Um, I'm trying to be more loose while I paint to just embrace a different style. I think with acrylic, as you see, I tend to go overboard <laughs> with detail. Uh, and uh, I just try to learn to be loose uh, and uh, yeah, experience the best of both worlds. But I'm still... Um, on a learning curve and as i said there is also this one available to buy in my on my instagram you can dm me there if you're interested and yeah very happy with it very very happy with the texture and yeah and everything so if you have already this paint, let me know what you think, what's your experience down in the comment and which one is your favorite acrylic paint, professional acrylic paint right at this moment. Thank you so much for watching guys. I love your support. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do that before to uh, go away and uh, click the like button and I'll see you at the next video. Bye.